hello everyone so we are today we are hosting anamika ma'am from arya vidyapeeth college on our thoughts and education series uh, so we would like to start with the small introduction from ma'am so ma'am can you give us a small introduction about yourself yes thank you uh, i am dr anamika gogoi dora i am an associate professor in anthropology of arya vidyapeeth college and uh, i have been here in this college for last 23 years and now we are uh, last uh, for last 3 uh, years i was uh, uh, well, i worked as the head of the department now my rotation uh, since it, this is the rotation level so that is why uh, after 3 years i have given the charge to my junior one and uh, probably again i will take the i will have to take the charge again anyway whatever is uh, yeah. this uh, and in this uh, college i am a now senior one <laughs> that is the thing so ma'am yeah. uh, we would like to start with our questions so our first question yeah. is what are your roles and responsibilities towards the students yeah the role in towards the student is mainly teacher students knows me as a teacher their own teacher okay but i don't think that i am i am uh, i have to play the role of only a teacher for them because we have the responsibility of the students not only for their uh, student life but also for their whole life that is why uh, we have to <clears throat> take the a very, very crucial role for them and a very important role uh, not only as the teacher but also as a guardian and this is the, our responsibility to um, make them not not only to give them proper education but also the proper education for their whole life right ma'am so ma'am uh, how do you how do you try to bring in a practical approach while teaching your subjects to the students yeah uh, we uh, our practical actually in our subject in our subject we have uh, three categories of practicals one is the physical anthropology practicals and another is the social anthropology practical and and uh, another one is the prehistoric archaeology archaeology practicals and in these three aspects we have to bring them specially in our subject we have to bring the students to the to the way out to, in the means to the means of the people because anthropology is the subject it is the study of the humanity it is the study of the about the people so we have to work among the students among the people among the villagers among the not only village but also among the city city dwellers also so we have to work with the people and sometimes uh, about the some pretty uh, practical of course obviously some uh, practicals are inside the laboratory but our in anthropology laboratory is the society human society so we have to work in among the people yes ma'am so this is yeah Yes, ma'am. Rightly said. Yeah. So, ma'am, uh, what what are the best practices that is offered by the department to the students, and also how does your department ensures that ensures to prepare their students for the higher education? Yeah. Uh, uh, so far, about the best practices of our department uh, is concerned, I should mention about the. uh various <coughs> various uh we actually especially myself is very much involved with the cultural activities so we give our students to uh learn about the various especially the satya satya sanskriti of assam satya sanskriti of assam and we uh, give them the uh, some <coughs> uh assamese we sub the knowledge of some assamese culture the assamese uh, satya sanskriti and also uh, singing hmm, and uh, also uh, dancing and also acting 
ফর এক্সাম্পল দ্যা সত্রিয় সঙ্গে ভাওনা ইজ এ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট পার্ট সো উই ফর লাস্ট থ্রি ইয়ার্স লাস্ট সিন্স নাইনটিন সিক্সটিন উই উই আর গিভিং দেম টিচিং উই আর দ্য এডুকেশন অন দ্য ভাওনা অলসো and uh, and also singing uh, of uh, satriya dances and i'm um, playing the drums khol khol which is called the khol in satriya sanskriti and that at that also teaching was given um, in the student but last for last two years we are not able to give this education uh, because of this uh, pandemic situation but whenever the situation will be normal we will again start that that, that best practice of our department especially okay. and in that way yeah in that way students are uh, <clears throat> able to learn about their own culture and i think this is the best practice of our department we are teaching about our own culture our root of the assamese society right and that is nice to know because the culture is the what brings the their whole life of the students uh, of any yeah. any human being So ma'am uh, how do you help your students to handle the intense competition that they face outside the class Yeah uh actually uh, not only our student but also uh, sometimes the some uh, students from the engineering also some some other uh, discipline also sometimes come to us uh, to uh, uh, to us to meet us uh, to get the knowledge about to uh, take part in the upsc or apsc exams huh. and uh, at that time we give, give them very much um, uh, some reading materials also and also if necessary we give the uh, teaching on the <clears throat> on that particular competitive exams uh, and also um, maximum uh, help we can provide we try to give to them and also about the students uh, about our own students uh, we uh, now with this we give them very much imp- uh, uh, to involve themselves in the in the uh, in skill development uh, education we give them advice uh, advice to take part in the skill development um so uh, education so that they can develop their own skills to take part in different branches okay okay ma'am so ma'am uh, what are the yeah. benefits and the career options after pursuing this course of anthropology the benefits and career option about the pursuing this course okay uh, benefit is the best benefit is that the that the uh, students of anthropology learn to deal with the people first of all learn to deal with the people and also they can easily understand the psychology of the people especially if sometime uh, some uh, someone speaks <laughs> the lie also that can also be told, <laughs> detected by the student of anthropology uh, so this is the actually uh, this is the study of human being that is why the um, a student of anthropology can un- easily understand the psychology of the people and um, the career about the career of son we uh, think the, the, the best ca- is that the first of all of course many uh, many people say is that anthropology is a very scoring subject it's okay no doubt but i uh, according to me anthropology is that subject which um, which uh, prepare a, a person a student to cope with every situation every jobs if she goes to she or he goes to the uh, goes to a banking job or some works in the ngos some upscs or any other any any other branches they can easily adjust they can easily adjust in that particular situation because we the anthropologists uh, generally we <clears throat> try to cope with any situation in any situation with the people any type of people so the anthrop students of anthropology easily adjust with any in any situation and adjust with uh, to adapt they can adapt any hard situation in the uh, very hard situation also they can face 
Yeah, well, that that's, is the a, thing. that's a pretty big advantage actually in job and in outside world. So, yeah, yeah. What, what do you see, ma'am, as a uh, as the college's uh, college's greatest strength? Our uh, the greatest strength of our college is our student. The result of our student, our uh, the result of our uh, student are very good, and they are uh, and they are very much involved in the subject also and they are very students are very dedicated in our space in our college especially and, and they are very uh, in our especially in our department they are very involved with our with the uh, with our teachers and in other departments also we have seen and they, they are very much involved uh, in whatever the actually last two years we are very uh, unfortunate that we are not able to find out their uh, <clears throat> qualities However, uh, we can everywhere we can find out their uh, very beautiful qualities, very intelligence, and also uh, their efficiency uh, in their either in their music or in their uh, <clears throat> their literature or in their scientific in their scientific knowledges and everything in everywhere and in sports also uh, whatever their capabilities we are able to find out. Uh, so. Uh, we are. This is. These are the greatest strength. Our students are the greatest strength, and their uh, capabilities are the greatest strength okay, for ma'am. our college. Uh, so, what valuable advice or suggestion you would like to? Would you like to give to the students out there? Yeah, I would like to advise the students to to be always honest. Honesty is the best policy to win others' heart. So, be honest and always should be very dedicated in their subject and and they should stick on one aim. That I have this is the aim. I have somehow I have to find out it, get it. So, if they stick on one uh, aim. They will definitely win, and if they take different aim, they I I have to get here. I have to hear. I don't know. They will not win. So they they should be first in that that should have one aim, and they should be very dedicated. Should be very dedicated to win that their to to win their goal. So uh, I always advise the students and. Always, I all I also advise the students to go through the book thoroughly. To go through the book or to go through the newspapers or reading. Reading is the main thing. Uh, nowadays, uh, our students, many of our students, uh, are not uh, interested in reading the book. And I always advise the students, please go through the book thoroughly, so that you can. Get the knowledge properly, so uh, they should <clears throat> be very dedicated. They should stick their own one aim, and also they should read the book thoroughly, so that they can touch their goal. So this is my advice for the students. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for such a insightful session and advice to the students. uh we are really happy to host you and we look forward to uh, have such discussions with you in future also thank you ma'am thank you thank you thank you so much